Good morning guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up macOS Mojave in Parallels. Now why would you want to do that? Well, if you've recently upgraded to Catalina, you may find that you're having the odd compatibility issue uh, with some apps. So Catalina's dropped support for 32-bit apps, for example. Or you may want to just set up a, an environment to test, so you can actually put some stuff in there and get it tested before you actually install stuff on your main machine. Now fortunately, it is pretty easy. You can see that I've got it running here. So let me show you how it's done. So firstly, let me just close that one down. You do need a copy of the Mac OS Mojave installer. You can see that I've got it there. If you don't have it, you can still get it from Apple, which the link is there. Just open in the App Store. Just bear in mind that Apple does tend to remove these. So if you're not quick, you may find that you go to get it and it's gone. So to set this machine up, it's pretty easy. What I'm going to do from Parallels, I'm going to go to the File menu, select New, and we're going to select Install Windows or another OS and click Continue. It should find your installer. If it doesn't, you've got the option there to select it manually. We found it for this, for this demo, so I'm just going to click Continue. Now it needs to create a boot drive, so we're going to let it do that. Just click Continue. It doesn't take very long, typically. And there we go. Now I'm going to give it a different name. I'm going to call it macOS Demo. And the other thing I'm going to do is customize the settings before installation. So I'm going to click that and then click Create. And the reason I'm doing that is I just want to adjust the hardware allocation to this machine. So if I pop into hardware, you'll see it's allocated two processor cores and two gig of RAM. I'm going to up that to four and I'm going to change the memory to eight gig. Now, obviously, on your machine, you may need to adjust that down or, or you upwards if you've got the capability. This machine is a 2019 16-inch unit with an i9 and 32 gig of RAM, so I can cope with that, that allocation quite easily. So that's what we're going to stay with. So when you finish customizing that to whatever you want, just close it down, and we're going to let it install. So just click Continue. Okay, I told you it did take a little while. So I'm going to select English UK and we'll select next down the bottom. So if you've ever installed macOS, you'll be very familiar with this process. So I'm going to select install macOS. There we go. Continue. There we go. Continue again. And we're going to agree. And there's our hard drive we're going to select and we'll click install. There we go, and off it will go and do the installation. So again, you need to be patient with this. It can take a little while to actually do the installation. Okay, and now on to the next step where we have to select our country, which again, you should be fairly familiar with, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna go all the way down and just select the UK for my install. Click continue, select your keyboard, read all the stuff. I'm not gonna transfer anything from another Mac. I'm also not going to set up my Apple ID at this point. I'm just going to go set up later. I'm going to read all of that stuff extensively and agree. And I'm going to set up my user account. Now you can customize at this point. I'm not going to, for the, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to continue through this. I'm going to select the light mode as well. But again, you know, you can set this up however you want, really. And there we go. We have our Mac OS Mojave. So if we do about this Mac, you'll see that we're running 10.14.6. Now, one thing you want to do before you finish up from this is you want to install the Parallels tool. So let me show you how to do that. If you pop up to the Actions menu, I think it is. Yeah, there you go. Install Parallels Tools say continue this is a set of utilities or tools in parallels that kind of better integrates the machine with your native host so we're going to get that installed now it takes a few minutes to so let that run okay and we're all done with our mac os mojave installed so let me restart it there we go let's get logged in and we are all done. Now, once we've got the Parallels tools installed, it makes it a little bit better. You can drag and drop things to the desktop, for example. So I'm gonna copy Office in there. 
and we now have a machine we can do our stuff with now if I had one final tip and that would be let's shut this down what I would do is once you've finished building this if we just right click on it we should have the option to show in finder there we go what I would do is actually just take a copy of it there we go very quick to do and what it means is you've now got a base build so if you want to set up multiple copies of macOS you don't have to go through that whole installation you can just copy that virtual machine and then drop it into parallels so so there you go I hope you found that useful it is very straightforward to do and it's incredibly useful for actually setting up previous versions of the OS or all that sort of good stuff so any questions drop me a comment down below and I'll try and answer them for you